Happy Tuesday. How's everybody doing out there, Business Accelerators? We're glad to have you. Uh, it's our weekly edition of uh, Tips brought to you by Randy and Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to talk about part two of our series on standard operating procedures or SOPs. And today we're going to talk about making a SOP for lead management and lead tracking. So what, how to manage the leads, like how, how much time you spend looking for leads, how much time you spend managing the leads you have as far as are they good leads, are they bad leads, what do you want to do with them, and how can you automate this? Because at the end of the day, anything you can automate is obviously better long-term decision because who wants to sit here all day going through a lead list chasing people. Yeah, you know, we, we've talked to, gosh, hundreds and hundreds of business owners over the years. And one thing that commonly comes up is I just need more leads. And, and, you know, on some level, that may be true, but I'd be willing to bet that you probably already have leads in your pipeline that maybe need some follow up and follow through some sort of a, a touch point, some communication uh, to re-engage them and get them back into your circle. Uh, because the reality is you've been talking to people you've shared emails, you've, you've networked with them on social media, you picked up a business card from somebody, a friend referred you to somebody, whatever the case may be. Uh, what is your system? What is your standard operating procedure in order to follow up with that prospective client? And so here's a, the, the huge opportunity in terms of automation, right? You get their information, you can come up with some email follow-up, uh, but more importantly, does everyone on your team or do you yourself have a standard operating procedure that has a very clear and organized uh, manner in which you approach lead follow-up? Do you have a schedule in place? Do you have uh, a pr procedure that says, the first thing I'm gonna do is send them a thank you email or a thank you message for taking time to talk with you? Um, do you have some sort of a, a step or a hierarchy in order maybe to get onto their social media and engage with them and maybe like and comment on their posts just to let them know that you're thinking about them and that you're you're following what they're what they're doing in their work and their business. Um, again, sending an email, a text message. Gosh, maybe it's a, a good old fashioned gift in the mail, a gift card, depending on where you are in the client uh, process, but having that system in place. And, to, and the very first thing you have to do is come up with a checklist. What things do you want to do in order to follow up with a lead? Uh, is it a weekly communication of some kind? Is it a daily uh, notification or communication? But have an order, a system of checks and balances that says, gosh, on Tuesdays, I'm going to follow up with client A and I'm going to comment on all of the social media. And then on Thursdays, I'm going to make sure that they're included in some sort of an email uh, automation system that gives them maybe a tidbit of information. Maybe it's just a good morning. Hi, how are you? Do you know when their birthday is? Do you know if they've got a wedding anniversary and when that is? Uh, just some small touch points and having a plan, again, a standard operating procedure that is easy to follow, it's organized. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to try to remember it. You just simply have to have a system in place that says, hey, it's Tuesday, it's time to tell somebody hi. <laughs> <laughs> it can be that simple. I don't even simple. know what to say to that. I don't know what to say to that either. Other than, hey, we've got a, a really a freebie gift for you, right? Uh, so we all know that um, having a standard operating procedure is important. It's kind of boring to talk about. We understand that. But the sooner that you can create them and create efficiency and organization with you and your team, uh, the more time you have left, the more money you can make because you're not floundering around trying to figure out what leads to follow up on and which ones to not follow up on. So we've got a couple of things. First, uh, we actually just had a new blog come out yesterday. It's on our website at the truenorthconsulting.com. Uh, we'll also drop a link to that blog uh, down below that gives you just a little more in-depth detail on maybe how to use an SOP for following up on leads. Uh, and then secondly, uh, we're going to drop a link to a, a freebie for you. It's actually an SOP for creating SOPs. So we've created a template for you uh, it's kind of a guideline, uh, some basic information that you would need, how to pull all your resources together to create the right SOP for you. And remember, we're, 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 we're talking about a few SOPs at a time uh, this month, uh, but the reality is SOPs happen all day in your business. You're doing things a certain way. You likely just don't have them organized in, a, in an efficient manner. 
and you could come up with hundreds of SOPs. And this template is a great way to get started. The king or queen, I guess, depending on what you want to call them, of SOPs is Chick-fil-A. <laughs> right? Chick-fil-A has an SOP for everything. Have you ever been to a Chick-fil-A where you saw something different? No, because they do it the same way in every single store all over the country. And there's a reason why their drive through is way better than everybody else's. No doubt about it. So don't forget to download the free freebie on the SOP. And next week, we are going to follow up with part three where we're going to talk about how to have your documents backed up and organized so they don't get lost. So when you make a new SOP or a new SOP template, how are you storing them? How are you organizing them? What do you do with them to make sure they don't get lost in La La Land? But otherwise, happy Tuesday. See you next week.